Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jesse with Nexus 5 Soft Modder. Today I'm going to show you how to install a custom ROM onto your Nexus 5. Custom ROMs, think of them as, as skins, as Android skins for your device. Just kind of like how Samsung's TouchWiz is a skin and HTC Sense is a skin. This is going to change how your phone looks and how it operates. It's still going to be Android underneath, but it's going to give you a lot more options that you're not used to. It's going to give you some cool features that are going to be really beneficial for you. So before you proceed, you got to make sure that you root it. It's really easy. Just check out the full tutorial for links on how to do that. And you have to make sure that you download a custom recovery for your phone. We really like Twerp, which is Team Win Recovery Project, because it's really easy to use. It's really simple. Check out the full tutorial for links on how to do that, too. Once you've got a custom recovery installed and once, you, once you're rooted, you should make a backup, because that's always something that you should do. In case anything ever goes wrong, you can always recover to before you start messing with things. So make sure you do that. Once you've got a recovery and you're rooted, you're going to find Goo Manager in the in the in Google Play. Just search for Goo Manager and then open it, download it, install it, open it up. It's going to look like this. Goo Manager is a really powerful tool, despite the name, even though it sounds kind of silly. You can search for ROMs and you can flash ROMs right from the app, which is really easy and great to do. So um, we're going to look for a ROM called AOKP, which is a really great first time user ROM if you've never used a custom ROM before because it's going to change how your phone looks but you're going to be really comfortable with it. It's going to look like what you're used to. So go up to Browse um, Compatible ROMs which is here and then just tap on AOKP and it'll take you to a download screen. Um, the, you'll see a link for Hammerhead which is the name of the Nexus 5. It's a code name that Google's given and you'll see this down here which is GAPS. GAPS stands for Google Apps. So when you flash custom ROMs oftentimes it'll break the Google App functionality so you won't be able to use apps like Gmail and you won't be able to sign into the Play Store um, or sign into your Google account. So you're gonna need both these things. You're gonna tap Hammerhead to download AOKP and then Nightly. This will take you to the download screen. Um, you're gonna pick this one for KitKat. This is the most recent one, 2014 22.zip. Tap that and then tap begin download and then the download will start to download automatically. Once you do that you have to download GAPS as well. And Once you download both those things you're going to go back to the main launch screen here and you're going to go to flash ROMs. When you go here you'll see that the hammerhead file is here. This is the AOKP file but you need to add the GAPS package as well and you're probably going to have to add zip from another location. Go ahead and do that. You'll probably find it in your downloads folder. So I'm going to check that and I'm going to look for GAPS which is right here. 2014, which is right here. Once you've got both these, you're going to tap check both of the boxes. You're going to tap order and flash select it. And then you need to make sure that, um, that the uh, AOKP file is first. So use these arrows to reorder this because you're going to first flash the ROM and then you're going to flash gaps. And then you're going to go down here and you're going to tap uh, wipe cache down here. This is just something that's good to do whenever you're going to flash ROMs. You don't have to wipe data. You don't have to do a factory reset. It's really great to create a backup if you haven't done that already. So you check that if you haven't created a backup. And then just hit flash. It's going to ask you to confirm. And then hit yes. Your phone's going to reboot now. Once you reboot your phone, you might see a message that says that your permissions need to be updated. Mine doesn't say that right now because I already did that. But if you do see that message, just hold in the power button, hit reboot and then reboot to recovery. Hit reboot again. Your phone will reboot into recovery mode. Once you're in recovery mode, go to advanced and then just hit fix permissions and then swipe to confirm. And once you do that, that should fix any issues that you're having. After you've fixed your permissions, if you've had any problems and everything looks good, I'll show you some of the features that you'll get with this new ROM. So just go into settings. Everything should look pretty normal to you. This looks like stock Android for the most part. And uh, if you want to check out the extra settings, just go into your main phone settings and you'll see two new links that you haven't seen before. You'll see ROM control and themes. And themes, you can actually, um, you could, this is where you can apply new themes that you download from the Play Store. F that'll just change how the ROM looks. And you can go to ROM control to change a lot of features. There's a drawer over to the left, slide it over. And there's a lot of things you can do here. You can, you can change uh, what's in your navigation bar, the order of the keys. You can even add your own key. You can... Um, what else can you do? You can change things in your status bar, you can take away the clock, you can change where the clock's located. I've got mine in the middle. There's just there's a lot of options that you can mess around with, and I highly encourage you to do it because you'd be surprised just how highly integrated this app is into all the customizations that you can make. So that's it. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. 
And for more, for the full tutorial, check out Nexus 5 Softmodder. Thanks a lot.